If you clicked on this video, I suppose you want to play with big drum now. Tired of smacking these everlasting circles in standard also with your mouse or tablet, I don't know. Then I welcome you to the world of Taiko. Taiko is one of the also game mods based on Japanese game called Taiko no Tatsujin. Taiko is literally big f drum. And Japanese created the arcade where you need to smash that big drum to the beat. You need to get better score on the song than anyone. That's a plot. I guess you already noticed red and blue circles in Taiko gameplay through the video. This is Don and this is Katsu. They are core to gameplay because you have only 4 buttons. 2 for Don and 2 for Katsu. The standard layout in Taiko is ZXCV. ZV for Katsu and XC for Don's. You can change it anytime if you want more distance between your hands when you're playing. Also there is 4 type of objects. Regular notes, big notes, drum rolls and spinners. For regular notes you need to press only one button of proper color. Oh, by the way, you need to hit the button on strict timing to get 300 points. If you missed your note within 20 or 30 milliseconds, it depends, you'll get 100 points. With big notes, you need to hit two buttons of Don and Katsu at the same time. This will give you more points, but if you feel it's too hard, you can treat them as regular notes and hit them with only one button. On drum rolls, you're allowed to press any of four buttons you want, but remember to follow the beat. On spinners, you just need to alternate Katsu and Don as fast as you can. I guess that's enough information. Now you can download any one-star map from OSU website and play it. Oh no! I almost forgot. Install any Taiko skin from the web because, oh boy, regular skin can hurt your eyes. Okay, buddy, great start. It should be pretty easy. Oh no, you missed it, but that's okay, go on. Okay, but you're totally off the beat. Well, I guess I let you practice for a few hours. But first, let me give you some quick tips. Right here. Try to memorize the note you've seen and hit it to the beat. Can't recommend you to look right in the circle where they all goes. You'll have no time to react. In OSU, you have maps for standard OSU and special bitmaps for every other OSU mod. Play Taika only maps, they have this and this icons. I mean, you can play a generated maps from original OSU, but to be frank, they are sh If your PC is barely running OSU at the 60 FPS, then your PC is potato. <laughs> I recommend you to play it in little window. And you know what? A lot of top players play it like that too. And this is to avoid any lags and unfortunate misses. But if your specs good enough, try it on full screen. But not portless, it's sh With unlimited frame limiter. Unlimited limiter. <laughs> You're probably playing on high BPM map, which is displayed right here. And by high BPM I mean 200 BPM or higher, so avoid that. Play lower BPMs. Alright, I'll keep you playing for a week. Wow, now you can pass easy maps with full combo. Looks pretty good. You were playing on Canton, right? <laughs> I suppose you're ready for another Taiko Diffs. Okay, here in Taiko we have four main diffs, as they called in original game. Kanten. Easy. Kanten is diff with single notes and lots of drum rolls. Nothing interesting, it's needed to introduce Taiko for beginners. Futsu. Normal. This diff provides you simple sequences of katsu and dons. It's also not that hard. Muzukashi. Hard. That's where things start to get interesting. You might ask. <laughs> Well, my man, now you need it all. Muzukashi introduced patterns to you. This is sequence of katsu and dons packed really close to each other, so you need to use both of your hands. We will catch later on patterns. Oni. Insane. Almost any diff above 5 stars is Oni. Like, really. From 5 stars to 10 stars. I mean, this is Oni. 
And this is also Oni. It can hit you not only with patterns, but with streams. Long, long streams. Stream could combine lots of different patterns. It's not like also where you can mash the same button. I bet after mastering 6 or 7 stars maps you can go to the audition of some rock band and become a decent drummer. But later on that, you just full combo? That's the word? Few songs on Kanten. What do you do next? You can play on Futsu now. Congratulations. Ugh. There is nothing interesting about Futsu though. It's like Kanten just a little bit harder. I can't really give you tips here, so... Just play another week, and let's see how high you can go. Remember that with patience, you will grow. Hey, my man, how is... Hey, my tanker boy, what's wrong? <laughs> Oh, right. I forgot to tell you about scoring system. I mean, yeah, full combo is really important for the man who aims at song stop, but you need not only full combo to get there, but also a decent accuracy. Here's why. Do the math. Every time you hit 300 points, it's 100%. If you hit 100, it's 50%. And miss is 0%. Accuracy is sum of that divided by number of your hits. So if song have 10 circles and you hit 9 perfect notes and 1 great note, it will be 9 times 100 and 1 times 50 divided by 10. And that is 95. With that, you will have S rank. Oh, and yeah, ranks. S is at least 95% and full combo. A is at least 90%. B is at least... Do you really care about B rank? We are here to reach freaking top. With your combo, amount of point per note is increasing. To be exact, it's 300 plus combo divided by 10. It has a limit around 1100 per hit, but also there is moments in songs when Taika did his dancing. Gaming give you bonus points here. And now imagine hitting this 100 notes and losing your decent score. That's why someone with only one miss but great overall accuracy can have more points than you. Accuracy is very important. Hey, are you even listening? You little... <laughs> Yeah, you're not ready for patterns. But someone many years ago predicted that and made maps for you to get better at patterns. Just google TBT Taiko and the thread from Osu forum will pop up. Or you can have a link in the description. Just download every pattern training from there. We'll need all that later. By the way, are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm lefty, so my main hand for patterns is left and right is support. Pretty obvious. With this, Let's switch to the Osu, with all TBT maps installed. We are in advanced patterns. First, we start up basic 8 step. First, fill the rhythm. And then start with your main hand, then support hand, and then again main hand. Nothing hard, you just need to feel the beat on DD and KKK patterns. Then we go to advanced step 2. And it's a little bit trickier, because you need to switch the finger you use on the main hand. The patterns are DDK and KKD. You hit the D with main, then D again with support, and you switch your finger on main hand and press K. Pretty much the same strategy for KKD. If you are having a bad time, turn on that health time mode to learn it in a more comfortable way. Then we hop to step 5, because step 3 and step 4 are pretty much the same as second. Here you have D, 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 K and K, 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 D. Just more notes at the start is not a danger. Hit it with main support, main support, then switch your finger on main hat. To step 7 we go. And you know what? This is the first pattern where you need to use all of your buttons. Start it with your main hand and here we go. Main support, main support, switch fingers, main support, main. Okay, let's be honest, that was pretty easy. I don't expect you passing this with full combo in 10 minutes or something. But it's not that hard. Because at step 8, 
That's where the fun begins. At step 8, a lot of hard buttons await us. DDKD, KKDK, DKKD with Pay Boopy Poopy Boopy Boopy Boopy. I bet you will play it like main support, then switch to other finger on main hand, and I bet you hit less note in pattern with your main hand too. That because you were relying on a main hand too much. Your main hand is faster than your support, right? So, it's pretty reasonable to play that way. No? I mean, yeah, but you might start learning new patterns this way. Completing almost half of it with one hand is, first, very frustrating for your hand, you will get tired easily, and second, deadly for your feel of rhythm. So in patterns, you always need to alternate your hands. With DDKD and KKDK, you need to play main support, switch your finger only on main, then hit last note with your support without switching. With DKKD and KDDK, you play here is definitely not main switch, main support, switch support. You need to hit it with main hand, switch finger on support, switch finger on main, and the switch on support again. Do it with half time if it's too hard. Okay, this video will last too long if I was about to guide you through every pattern in the game. I guess you've got the point here. Always alternate your hands when you play in patterns. Write down the patterns and hit the note at a very slow speed. And increase it till it's enough. But what's interesting, everything I told you may be absolutely useless. Because there is different playstyles. Okay, so we have two main directions here. We were sticking to Katsu Don Don Katsu through all this video. This is the most popular playstyle. But it has its own styles too. Full alternating, when you always alternate your hands, is most popular because it pays off on high BPM maps and streams. Your main hand wouldn't be exhausted this much. If you want to get really good at Taika, you should master KDDK with full alternating. Some people play with alternating only on patterns. With single notes, they stick to the main hand, as they used to on Katsu and Muzukashi. But with this playstyle on 5 star maps or more, your hand will be probably dead. I used to play the same way in 2016, but I lost my feeling of any progression of my skill, because my hand was dying on 5 plus star maps. But I never tried to play with only index fingers, as some players do. I don't really know if it's good, but you can try and tell me about that in comments. Oh, uh, also there's Don Don Katsu Katsu or Katsu Katsu Don Don. Uh, I tried to play like this, but this is too hard to get used to when you play like 200 hours on KDDK. But they say there's a problems with accuracy if you play like it. But big notes will be easier for you, for sure. You can try, but there is no sense for me, really. So where are we again? Ah, oh, right. You're still here. <clears throat> play Muzukashi Oni, do what you want, time out. <clears throat> What? Huh? Ah, you want to know how performance point system works? All right. Performance points is calculated by five main values. Star difficulty, maximum song combo, your misses, accuracy, and 300 points hit timing. You can see it all on song select screen. There is no most important value here. Pretty obvious you need as much as you can on star rating, maximum song combo and accuracy. Actually, in Taika, combo is not that important. What makes the performance points here is amount of misses. It means it doesn't matter where you miss it if your accuracy is high. Accuracy. By the way, you can get different performance points on the same star rating and maximum song combo because of 300 point hit timings. This timing depends on difficulty and mods and it makes huge boost for your performance points. Pretty normal timing here is 31.5 milliseconds on Oni. Less timing and more accuracy you have, more performance points you get. With all that values, you can calculate the performance points on the song to decide is it worth it to spend your time to full combo it or not. But I recommend you not to always play like that, because you might lose interest in Taiko, but if you want to reach the top, why not? Performance point calculator in the description. Anyway, I said you can change timings and star difficulty on the song with mods. Wait, I haven't mentioned mods yet? No, 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 no. Okay. We've got three mods for difficulty reduction and five for difficulty increase. Easy. 
It increases timing so it can be hit easier and circles appear slowly. Less performance points, of course. No fail. You just can't lose. It's quite useless. Also less performance points. Half time. Song speed is decreased by 1.5, so is star difficulty. Timings are increased. Less performance points, of course. Good to practice patterns so you can play. Hard rock. Decreases timing, make it harder to have high accuracy because of it. Also circles appear much faster. More performance points. Sudden death. Song restarts if you miss. Perfect. Song restarts if you get 100 points hit. Double time and nightcore. Increases song speed by 1.5, so is star rating. Timings are decreased, much more performance points. Nightcore is the same as double time, just add this nightcore wipe. Hidden. Hides circles and adds this black bar, so you need to memorize your circles. More performance points, sometimes it is equal to hard rock in terms of performance points, but it depends. Flashlight. You can play it if you memorize the song, or on easy difficulties. But it gives you less performance points than Hard Rock or Hidden, so it only makes sense to use it with Hard Rock or Hidden. So I guess that's it? You're ready to play the game? With what? Okay, you just... Um, uh, look. I'm still not that good at the game, I'm only at 3900 plays or something like that, that's not really high on the top. But everything I was saying should help you to improve at least to the place where I am, improve your speed, patterns and accuracy. As soon as I will able to handle streams, I will definitely make video about it. If you have any questions, I stream Taiko on Twitch, here is time, here is date. Here is link, and also in description. But I also never told you about devices you can use to play Taiko. Mechanical keyboards, high refresh rate monitors... Are you really need that to play rhythm games? We will find out in a week. See ya!